this goes back to before Celebrity Big Brother. It certainly does. Okay, yeah. so pick up the story. What has been going on? Um, I had a few procedures done medically um, and got into Big Brother, and one of them really wasn't working out for me. And obviously, had to, it was common knowledge, had to take me out of the house a few times to so have my what dental was the work done. That, that, what, that didn't I had my, all my top teeth out and implants put in on screws. It started to swell that would give me septicemia. Oh, it went in through here in the roof of the mouth, it's swollen. All of this, the gum here is gone all the way up to here. I've got a bone graft. I had an operation yesterday, that's why I've got this on. I'm having another one tomorrow. I spent five weeks in the Royal London, who are fantastic in the summer. Um, yeah, and I think the whole lot of it just spelled me into a depression coming out of Big Brother. Should have been my busiest year. And I came out of there, this happened, and I couldn't, I haven't been able to work all year. Which is, I think, just spelled me back down into a depression, which then I ended up splitting up with my boyfriend. And this was around about August time because the, the pain was so much. Did they have to remove the teeth? They'd removed all my teeth. They had to oh take everything God. out and then take the screws out and then let that heal um, because it's gone into septicemia here. And I was so nervous about it. I didn't go to a hospital, I didn't want to go to a doctor. I was worried about it. I was at home all the time, went back to my dentist. He was like, you need to get to A&E now. Well, as like, we know, septicemia is incredibly dangerous. I know. I didn't know. I didn't even know that it could be that, and it was. Um, and literally, I had two IVs coming out of me for for two, three weeks on a, a interventional strips and, and antibiotics. I've had that again two weeks ago, in hospital, um, and it's just really, really made me poorly. I mean, I'm not. I'm old as it is, so I get tired anyway. But this has just really knocked me for six. But well, the trouble is also, as you've just hinted at, then it's compounded by the fact that personally, you know, that all went wrong as well with uh, with George. Well, yeah, because I was so depressed all the time that you know, with everything, and and then. George just got up one morning and went, that was it, it was gone. And I was like, oh, I actually really didn't know you at all then. But, you know, he had his reasons, and obviously I wasn't very easy to live with at the time because I was depressed about the way I looked, um, not being able to earn money. I felt like I'd let him down, let the kids down, and he didn't see it like that, but, you know, in the end it was just too much and we just parted, and I think it really is the best thing I could have done. But you did relapse? Uh, yeah, I did relapse. Yeah, I thought my whole world was over when he walked out because he just got up, it was like he'd never been there. So where are you at with that now? Because uh, following the relapse, a, a friend of yours came in and... and uh, a very good friend, of my boy, two best friends, um, uh, Stuart uh, Legs and, and Ginny. I, I went to them and said, listen, this septicemia is on top of me, I'm very ill. I, I, I don't know what to do with myself, I'm, I'm so down about everything. And, and while I was around at Legs' house, he just rang me an ambulance. Yeah. They put me in an ambulance and took me. Did you overdose? I tried to overdose a lot when George walked out, um, but it just turns out he just... He, he'd never had a girlfriend before me. So it all unravels yeah. and, uh, you know, it was very difficult. The thing is that, um, I mean, I've got to ask this because obviously the, the, the people know you've got kids and you know, know what goes what goes through your head when you're driven once again back to the back to the edge, you find yourself I looking down... I felt like I'd let everybody down. I came out of Big Brother, I couldn't earn the money I wanted to earn, I couldn't do the jobs that were being offered to me that I've been waiting for for years to come back if to work If you'd succeeded with. in that overdose, then if all of those things would pale into insignificance of the fact that the kids haven't got their mum. But when you relapse and you take drugs, you don't see that. Yeah. All you see is selfishness and a way out. Yeah. So you carry on taking more drugs and then you get to that point where you're so low on such a come down that you're like, I just want to kill myself. And it's the most selfish, horrible thing. And that's drugs, it's selfish and horrible and, and twisted. Um, and, and I thank the Lord for, for, for legs and, um, and Virginia for taking me in, 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 took me into a hospital in an ambulance. Um, and that's it, just got me straight back in, got me better, got me into recovery and... and well, not the, better, because I'm still having ops. The but. cocaine that you, uh, that you, that you've overdosed on, then... No, I didn't overdose on cocaine, I took loads of tablets when and George went. But when you were taking the cocaine, that wasn't through your nose, that no, was, it was orally. No, it was just orally, yeah. Why, um, a lot of people, because when they saw that image, the, uh, and with the plaster on the image, this photo that we're all talking about today, why is the plaster there? Because a lot because of people... It's, it's, it's got, underneath here is really, really sore. There's actually a picture I think the son had got of me yesterday going into hospital without the plaster. Mm. Um, uh, but that's where the septicemia is. And, like, tomorrow we've got to re-blast it. And, hello, re-blast it all again and, and do it again, and it will shrink up, shrink up and get better. But, obviously, everybody's going to straight away say it's cocaine. Um, and rightly so, that's what I was known for for a very long time. It's, they're going to say that, but they have allowed me my say about it, and we have made awareness of the septicemia issue, and, yeah. Well, I mean, it, 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 one positive thing to come out of that is, is the fact that, once again, septicemia, back at the top of the headlines, really important because it is a killer. Yeah, I mean, I started going completely numb on my left side. It was swelling, everything was swelling, and, and a friend of mine, member said to me, listen, that happened to me and I had a heart attack, my heart stopped, I didn't even know I had septicemia. Yeah, Get to A&E now. So what's happening with you then? Because, obviously, 
you want to put this year behind you. Oh, God, I do that every year, don't I? I, just I know. Every year, but I just want to be someone else. It's normally <laughs> just before Christmas as well. Mm, always. It always is. Yes, it is. Was this time last year? Um, do you know what? I'm looking forward to Christmas. We're going to have a great Christmas this year. Actually, a positive time. I'm just opening a business up in Liverpool with a good friend of mine. Um, who's got a little salon up there, and we've got some great ventures coming up and a TV show coming up out of it, which is good. Mm. And the Scouse girls love to be glamorous, so I love it there. I love being up north. Um, I love down south, but I love being up north, and my recovery is very good there. Mm. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm happy. I'm doing some bits, and, you know, um, I've got some very good friends around me, and most of them do happen to be really good-looking guys, but can't help that. Well, we did see the picture. That it was on Snapchat over the weekend, wasn't it? Oh, you it did, There was yeah. a picture, and I, a lot of people sort of saw the image and thought, oh, has she found someone else? Is this a new well, boyfriend? And you are smiling like a schoolgirl right now. I know, yeah. I've known him for a very long time, and he is a very good friend. So this is and Jake, yeah? This is a friend of mine, Jake, yeah, and... Um, mm. Yeah. Daniela. But neither of us <laughs> commitment, well. so, like, we're both like... Mm. OK, so, all right. So we, don't, we certainly don't want to get in the way of that. No, maybe I should up. just throw it out there and say, right, you, you need to commit. Oh, right. End of. Oh, maybe OK. I Come on, so, Jake. Jake. Jake, you need to commit. Jake, the pressure is on. <laughs> on. Thanks for watching. Click here for more This Morning videos.